all right guys so about a month ago i dropped this video over here about how to get a paid vpn for free now that video did absolutely well you guys love that video and you run up the numbers so much for which i am most grateful now in the comment section there are a lot of comments about the vpn and i decided to make this video as an update to that video and answer most of those comments from the comment section so without wasting much time let's get into it and i'm going to answer these comments to the best of my ability Okay, so the first comment I want to answer is, can you use it to do survey sites? Absolutely. You can use this VPN to access most survey sites, all right? The second one is, I'm from Uganda and I tried to use it with Prime Survey, but I was detected and prosecuted. I thought this would work as well for surveys. Now, this VPN will work for most service. However, I think service like this Prime VPN or even another survey called Five five service yeah those services have some infrastructures built into them that detect when someone is using a vpn or even proxies so if you try to use a vpn on those kind of service sites with those built-in infrastructure you will not be able to access those service sites and your accounts might even get blocked along the line all right so please make sure to do your research well on some of these service sites and find out whether you can use vpns to access them otherwise you might just end up wasting your time okay the third question can you connect when you don't have bundle okay so this vpn does not allow you to use it if you don't have a bundle or an active internet connection okay so you need data before you can connect to this vpn you mean the 10 codes expire in 24 hours or each code expires in 24 hours all the 10 codes will expire after 24 hours okay so if you remember the story you could generate from one to ten codes right so if you generate three codes after 24 hours those three codes will expire if you generate six codes after 24 hours those six codes will expire so no matter the number of codes you generate after 24 hours those codes will expire which means you can't use them and you have to generate another one okay next question how long will the free trial last the free trial lasts for 30 days okay it lasts for 30 days so after 30 days you generate another set of codes and you activate your vpn again all right please what about if the trial ends what happens and secondly is the temporary email will it be useful anymore okay so if the trial ends let's say you get your 30 day mark and after 30 days the trial ends you won't be able to connect to your vpn again right you lose access to it and as for the temporary email i mean it's a temporary email so after you're done using it it's discarded you're not going to need it anymore you're not going to get access to it anymore sorry so let me show you what to do when the free trial ends all right follow this tutorial and you'll be able to get access back to your vpn okay so first thing you want to do is open your asset home app and then log out your existing account now grab a fresh temporary email or maybe an actual email address that you have and use it to create another account now when you create the account what you need to do is you need to follow these steps on your screen to generate another set of codes it's just like the one we did in the previous video where we generated 10 codes generate another set of codes with this new email Now, when you have the new set of codes, delete Asset VPN from your device, whether Android or iOS, and then reinstall it and enter any of these activation codes and you will get access to your VPN again for another 30 days. Now, you can keep repeating this process and you enjoy Asset VPN for free as long as 
you follow this procedure and you keep repeating the process all right okay so if you did exactly what i just showed you guys in this tutorial you'll be able to get access back to your vpn all right and now the last question i am keeping on coming back i want to know how to connect or use the asset vpn on other devices we have selected okay so let me show you how you can do that Okay, so if you want SS VPN on multiple devices, you want to use it across maybe your phone and your Windows PC or your Mac, please follow along in this tutorial and you will be able to do that. All right, guys, so visit this website over here. I'll leave the link in the description. Now, this is Asset Home, the website version. If you remember, in the first video we did, we had to download the Asset Home app onto our Android device or our iOS device in order to generate the code by creating an account with a temporary email. Now, we're going to do a similar thing here on our PCs by visiting this website and create an account using your Gmail or your iCloud or a temporary email. Now, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to use a temporary email like I always do, but from a different temporary email platform and create an account and I'll speed through the process. okay so when you get to this part now it's giving a chance to download the vpn now you can download it for your windows pc if you're on a windows device or you can even download it for a mac if you are using a macintosh so download whichever one is appropriate for you onto your device and install it Then after you are done installing it, we are going to get the codes, the activation codes and come and activate our VPN so we can start using it. Okay, so now that we have the activation code, let's go ahead and enter it into our VPN that we have just installed on our device. And just like that, your VPN is activated on your laptop or your MacBook. And you can even use this same code that you have generated to activate your vpn on your ios or your android device so let me go ahead and show you that one so as well so i'll pick one of the codes and i'll come to activate it on this iphone over here Alright, so if you watch the tutorial right now, this is how you will be able to get access to the SSVPN and use it on multiple devices. Alright.
All right, guys. So these were some of the questions I felt like were important and needed to be answered in this video. So if you need a VPN, please make sure to check out that video. Watch it from the beginning to the end and you'll get access to your VPN. And also, if you have any questions that you want me to answer, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to make another video and answer those questions. All right. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next update.